And speaking of uh, that wrestling show, we'll also talk about that wrestling show in a little bit, but based on sort of disappointing ticket sales compared to the absolutely fascinating number. Are we talking 70K for all in Wembley right now? Is that the number that I, you have? I, I got somewhere between 65 and 70 okay. on Sunday. Uh, that's what was told to me on Sunday. By the way, I don't know. I think Moxley was here. Can you call Mox and ask him if he was over my house? Because I that, got is that the screwdriver, or, or was he this using a it. flathead? He might be using a flathead to to, or maybe maybe he's using that one. I got I got this screwdriver. I got screwdriver. I got I got I don't know what's going on here. Um, so I, I, you know, last week we didn't do a show. Uh, I had my son's baseball game on Monday. I had to I had to work. I had to take meetings on Tuesday, so we didn't do a show. But I. You know, there was that tweet that was put out that we discussed on Wrestling Observer Live that that claimed that AEW was capping at 40,000 tickets. That's what you call and a bad tweet. That's a bad tweet. And, you know, uh, I reached out to AEW about this, by the way, when this was happening. And I, I asked, I'm like, listen, I, like four different people asked me this at the same time on, I think it was Wednesday, no, Tuesday afternoon. What's going on? Uh, I'm like, it, it's weird that so many people are asking me this. And I got a tweet that says, hold on. Uh, let me ask the boss. And I got a message back. <laughs> and next thing I know, Tony, Tony <laughs> went ape shit on, on Twitter <laughs> about it. Uh, and, and listen, rightfully so. I get it, right? Because he, oh, I just got something. Uh-oh. In mid sentence, oh, it stopped you in your track. Something. Oh, I can't. I'll show you later. Important. I'll, I'll okay. talk about it. Later. I, it's very important uh, oh, and had, very you, cool. You held that. You held. I think the audience collectively just held their breath for three seconds. There. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm continue so sorry. what you were going to say. Um, what were you going to say? And you know, I was always under the impression that they wanted to do 65. That was the number that that was their their success number, right? That's their home run number, 65,000. That's unbelievable. And forget yeah. about the fact that that building is 90,000 people. 90,000, yeah, sure. But, you know, you put the ring, you put the stage, and you take away a little bit. 65,000 was always the number. And I, you know, not not saying that AEW flat out told me, yeah, it's 65. But it's 65 scaled up. So they will open up more uh, if they need more tickets open. I know that they passed 60. Uh, by my counting, I counted 68. You know, I pieced together 68. So maybe they're, they're anywhere between 65 and maybe 70 right now, which is mm -hmm. remarkable. No card announced. No CM Punk announced. No matches announced. Nothing. It's just here we are and we're going to Wembley. Obviously, a lot of people are under the impression that CM Punk's there and that's going to help the ticket sales. But, uh, you know, even if Punk wasn't going, uh, I think they would be sitting at around 65,000 at this point. So you're I not surprised think, at all by the number. I, you know, at first I, I had initially said 55. I was taking the over on 55. After yeah, that's where I, that's what then, I thought the number was, was around 50 to and 55. I, and if anything and over I felt, 50, I thought that would have been tremendous. And I felt a little nervous about that, but I spoke to a couple of people and I have a lot of friends in the ticketing business and, you know, first time anything, this is what was said to me. This is coming from someone that is very heavily in the ticket business. When you take an American product and you go overseas for the first time, it's going to do remarkable business if you market it properly. And, you know, as we know, AEW has really solid marketing. They know what they're doing. It's not some rinky dink operation. And, you know, I'm not surprised after that conversation that they, they did 65. Now, I will be shocked if they do 80 in a good way. Not saying that they can't, but that would be a really... Uh, remarkable number but you know now we're talking about breaking records as far as tickets sold uh this is getting interesting and i wwe is not happy about this <laughs> they're not i how can they be you know they love to gloat about these numbers and this is something that they've always had an advantage on AEW is you know great example they're struggling with this pay-per-view in Vegas with the ticket sales. Yes. I think there's yes. thousands of tickets still available. I think there, like 2, I, I don't 3, think I don't think they've even hit seven yet. As far, and and they I think they've only scaled for see. a little bit less than 10. But I think they're they're still under seven at this point, which is let's find out. Pretty, I, it's I pretty disappointing. But, you know, the, the thing about that 
that we haven't really talked about on this show. I think it's Vegas. Like Vegas is tough, right? Vegas is tough yeah. with the high ticket prices. That weekend is very expensive for Las Vegas. And, you know, it's, it's a big ask to go there. So now, it's, it's not as expensive. It's not as, as expensive as it was last year. I looked at the tickets uh, at flights today, this morning. Yeah. And my flight, They're much better. JetBlue, like that JetBlue flight cost me $1,000 each way last yeah. year. And it's now three hundred and fifty dollars to go, and I think it's one hundred and eighty-five dollars back. So, well, it's not it's that not cheap so much though. for me, but um, oh, really? But it is. It is definitely cheaper than it was last year for sure. And, but I, I'm I'm not even it, comparing it to last year is a little different because it was finally like, you know, we 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 allowed Vegas to be Vegas last year, right? That was the draw for Vegas. So we're one year yeah. removed from that. But it's just you know vegas hotels and finding places to stay off the strip and entertainment and food it's just more expensive in vegas than it is going to be in uh you know what's a uh, hoffman estates or whatever <laughs> you know yeah. where we're going we're going to uh domino's pizza at 11 o'clock because nothing else is open it's just a different thing right so it's just more expensive and it's more expensive to to travel and to follow and if you are the hardcore of the hardcore wrestling fan you probably like the idea that they're still doing it in the small building in chicago because it's more homely it feels more like it's your your old aew so i get the i get the vegas thing but here's my question to you because i wanted to take advantage yeah. of what you just said you're talking about you know people and tickets and the market for going to the uk for the first time for a hot us product wwe just did a great show in Puerto Rico, and they haven't been there in a while. That crowd was hot. They wanted that product Fantastic. so badly, right? And so what we're learning is rather than having these loyal markets, we're branching out into areas that are kind of hotbeds. And I wonder if AEW should continue to do double or nothing in Las Vegas. Should they still do all out, uh, you know, at that small building? Because it may, or maybe you do one, maybe you pick and say, well, we want the one loyal show to be a, a, in Chicago and maybe double or nothing goes somewhere else. Though it, it, double or nothing, being double or nothing has kind of the, the gambling metaphor there. But yeah. it, just, it just makes me wonder if you know let's t let's take advantage from what we are learning and maybe next year double or nothing is in a international place that they've never been that is going to be a hotbed and for the sake of the business i you know I'm, i may not be able to go to that show like i am going this show but it's like let's take advantage of, of where it's hot i'm sure tony is completely following this much more closely than either of us are so i'm not saying that he's not doing that i'm just saying that i would love to see them take advantage of what looks to be the current landscape for live pro wrestling. Well, here's the other thing, right? You've added two more pay-per-views a year to their calendar. It's no longer, you know, forbidden full, door. Is it, full gear, double. Or, yeah. You added forbidden door and all in. And it seems like, you know, it, it, with the success of this, I would imagine that all in will become their WrestleMania big stadium show. But, you know, you have other opportunities. You have other fields if you're going to continue doing this. You could do in the different arenas. You don't have to do a 90,000-person arena. You could do, you know, Ford Field, for example. You could do something great over there. Uh, I, I don't know if the, the pay-per-view structure is going to stay the same. And if it doesn't, yeah, I think they should move it out of Vegas. You know, but part of it is the attraction of being in Vegas. But Memorial yeah. Day weekend is a brutal travel time. And same thing with Labor Day weekend. That's a brutal travel schedule. And you know the UFC is showing that if you have the right product and you have the right fan base, you can run Vegas several times a year and, and sell sure. out. And AEW's having the having trouble doing it once, but you know historically as a wrestling market, Vegas was always pretty hard for wrestling. Uh, Eric Bischoff did it, you know, bef before in uh, when when WCW was just getting hot, but. I do wonder if if this is going to be long for for Vegas for for double or nothing. If it is, and if Tony's just like, you know what, we're going to ride it out, and this is a nice home base for us. I I understand that too, but it just seems what the numbers are telling us is that 
you know, international is, is hot and going to new markets is hot. So that is uh, that's going to be an inter interesting conversation. I just want to correct myself. Uh, I said that all in is a pay per view. I, I don't I don't believe it's a pay per view this year, but I do think moving forward it should be.